So I'm at the parking lot for the uh, Ashikan uh, Trailhead. Um, again, I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but that's how I'm going to say it for the rest of the video is Ashikan. Um, pretty rainy. Uh, it's it's uh, it's not currently raining. I thought it was raining, but that's the brook in the background I'm hearing. Uh, I mean, so far this I haven't even started the hike, and it's just beautiful. Um, I'm so glad I did not cancel this out uh, due to weather. Um, so I'm going to find the actual trailhead. It's, it's somewhere close by. Um, once I get there, I'll, I'll be back to you. Probably the most picturesque trailhead I've ever started on. Pretty amazing. Gotta make sure to register. Uh, so I just came up what is going to be a small hill by comparison, I have a feeling. Uh, I'm already getting hot. Uh, it's about, uh, it's about 55 degrees, I think. Um, but I'm ready to show you the layer, maybe two layers. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to overheat yourself. Um, but I think I actually am going to shed both my top layers. Um, we'll see. I'll take, I'll take the uh, fleece off. I'm definitely going to take this fleece off. I, uh, put this on just in case I needed it. I'd rather have too much than too little, um, especially for tonight. Um, I don't know what's, what's going to happen tonight. It could get a little chilly. Um, so I think for now I'm just going to go with this. Um, and I, I still actually feel a little hot. Um, but I think I, I need to at least have uh, this base layer on. Uh, I may go to a, a short sleeve t-shirt um, before too long, but for right now, I'm gonna go with this. So. This is one of the natural springs, uh, good water source. Uh, unfortunately, I don't need any water, and I'm only maybe two miles into the uh, trail, so I probably, unless I'm desperate tomorrow, shouldn't need water tomorrow here either. Although if I have an empty bottle, I may go ahead and purify it. Uh, there's nothing better than spring water found on a trail. <laughs> Over, under, or around? What do you think I did? Comment below if you got it right. Definitely over.
So, uh, came across my first uh, fellow hikers and campers uh, here at this uh, at the first campsite, a little bit further down from where I shot the video, but uh, so I'm not alone. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't collapse one on it. Let's see. Let's see if it can support my big old butt. <laughs> yeah, wobbling a little bit, but it, pretty good little bridge there. Hey, bear. Hey bear. This is black bear country for sure. Uh, not that I've seen any sign of one. I've certainly not seen one. I don't want to get surprised. Nothing yet. I love my marrows. Went almost ankle deep and don't feel anything. Listen carefully. If I could stop breathing for a second, you'll hear almost silence.
Man, that log is really wet. <laughs> um, oh boy. I, I found, I think we're, if the campsite up on the peak doesn't work out, this is, this is where I'll be spending the night. Uh, hopefully the fog clears off. It's only 10.30 in the morning, 10.37. Um, on uh, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Uh, pretty interesting day. Um, I just, it, I was just commenting about the silence and both on, on the video and to, just right now to myself. Uh, although I do hear either road noise or a plane, I'm not sure which it is, very off, far in the distance. I did hear some, uh, what sounded like human noise. Uh, I passed some campers quite a ways back, uh, so I don't think it's them. So there may be somebody behind me or coming back from, uh, I'm, at, I'm at the junction of the loop. So the, the trail I'm on is uh, what they would call a lollipop, you know, straight in, and then you hit a, hit a junction, and you loop around, and then you go back get back to your car from the the first part of the trail which I think if I if I scaled it out on the map correctly it's about three that part of it's about three miles two and a half miles something like that um, so I'll be finishing that up tomorrow uh, that's where I'll be finishing um, but yeah I mean not that you can see anything because of the fog uh, or clouds or I don't know what the elevation I'm in I'm at right now um, it's not that high though um, I'm at uh, I'm only at about 1,600, 1,800, about 1,800 feet. Uh, so not much higher than where the car was. Um, I do hear voices, uh, so there's somebody out there. Um, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get moving again. I'm kind of off in a secluded area, uh, so I, I was surprised. I'm surprised to hear voices, but if somebody knows about this area, and it is marked on the map as a designated campsite. So beautiful campsite. Um, you know, if this is where I stay, I'll, I'll show you show you around a little bit more later. Um, so I'm gonna get back on the trail. Uh, see you uh, see you at the peak soon. Okay, made another quick stop. Uh, I'm heading up uh, up the mountain now. Uh, made the turn and certainly looks like uh, like I'm heading up. Uh, as soon as I hit this spot, uh, the bugs have just begun to swarm me. I'm going to regret unpacking the bug net for uh, for tonight. Um, lesson learned there. Uh, it weighed next to nothing. It was just taking up a little bit of uh, real estate in my backpack. Uh, I'm going to regret that decision that I made late last night. So uh, I put a little deet on. Luckily, I I didn't unpack my uh, uh, deet, but it seems to have no effect so far on these whatever they are. I don't know what they are. They're too big for gnats. Uh, I don't think they're mosquitoes. They're too fast. I haven't really got a good look at them yet. But anyway, I got my, uh, my other trekking pole out and uh, we're, uh, we're heading up, upward, upward and onward. I think it's a good time to have a sit-down break before I head up that thing. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. It's uh it's a good hike. Um 
little somewhat challenging so far, but not overly challenging. Um, we'll see how these stairs treat me. Um, they look a little daunting right now. It's uh, it's tough. You, I've got about I don't know, maybe quarter mile visibility, if that. Uh, so I can't see what's ahead of me. Um, so I'm kind of flying blind, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, a little exciting. You just don't know. Plus my glasses are really fogged up. So between the fog or the cloud that we're in, um, I keep getting blinded by my bug spray that I sp sprayed on my hat, on the bill of my hat. Worked good. It's keeping the bugs away, I'll say that much. But the sweat is mixing in with the bug spray and gets in my eyes. Um, uh, wow. So I'm going to sit here for a couple more minutes and then head on up. Okay, we're about to head up this thing. Um, I'm going to have the camera going. Uh, I apologize for the uh, bumpy uh, bumpy ride you're about to take. Um, I'm not going to even be paying attention to the, ca to the camera. Uh, we're just going to go up and see how it goes. So I brought this uh, mesh bag to pick up trash. And I have to say, I've yet to see one even tiny piece of trash. So we're either at the top, or I just can't see another hill. There's. There's another hill right in front of us. Uh, I knew that was too good to be true. Uh, I read in one of the uh, reviews of this trail is you keep thinking it's over and then there's another hill. I have a feeling this isn't the last one. All right. I'll spare you uh, the roller coaster ride on this one. Yet another rock stand. Fun fun. Looks like a short one. Can we go for a ride? That wasn't bad. Going up what I believe is the last ascent to the peak, uh, which is right around 3,000 feet. It's shale, it's wet shale. Between the rain and I would say it's got to be 100% humidity right now. Uh, I mean, look, I'm 
compound over. Sorry, I'm gonna lay you down here for a second. While I get up this little up this little ledge here. Oh, slick. Slick, slick, slick. Oh man. Trying not, not to fall. Okay. Oh, made it up that. That was not as easy as I thought it would be. It didn't look that bad, but as slick as bear snot. Not that I've ever touched bear snot before, but I would imagine it's pretty slick. It's very slow going here. I think I am at the first one at the top. Here. I feel like this would be a gorgeous view if we weren't in the middle of a cloud. Australia. I'll get back with you when I find it. So we are more or less at the top here. Um, so this is the top. Clearly, clearly the top. Um, I kind of like the. Uh, fact that we're up in a cloud. So far, this side of the trail is uh, uh, much less steep. Also lost the trail. Rhododendrons are driving me crazy. My pants are drenched. They're beautiful, but they're soaking wet. 
And now my pants are soaking wet. Oh, well, I lost it there. Probably glad to get out of these. The road is in them, that is. Uh, oh, wow. I'm still at 2,800 feet. Last I looked, I haven't made much of a descent, so uh, I have a feeling that's yet to come. I've lost a place to put my uh, phone because my pants are so wet. I'm going to stop here, stow it away. This is quite beautiful. Uh, I know it's uh, rainy, foggy, misty. It's not, it's not as cold as I was afraid it was going to be. Uh, if anything, I need to shed a, a layer at some point here soon. Um, I would love to find a little place of cover, but I don't know that I'm going to find that. Um, so anyway, um, I, I guess what I want to say is challenge yourself. Um, you know, it's uh, you only live once and, and you need to see what you're capable of. Um, and this is why I went on this trip. This is why I didn't cancel it when I saw the forecast. Uh, yesterday actually turned out okay other than the fog. Uh, and last night ended up being beautiful uh, until about 1 o'clock. And it started raining and it hasn't stopped since. Um, but anyway, I'm going to continue on once I get my phone put away uh, in a somewhat dry place. See you down the trail. Words of wisdom. As I sit here on the on the trail, on the floor of the trail, uh, and I'm fine. Uh, my elbow hurts a little bit, but I, nothing broken. I just, just that took the impact. Uh, my my uh, upper forearm, um, but it's 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 good to go. I'm I'm fine. Um, what the mistake I made is I stepped right on this rock. So if you can see it, looks innocent enough, but it's at about oh. About 15, I don't know, 15 degree angle, something like that. And it is wet. It doesn't look that wet, but it's wet. And I just, I went down hard. Uh, there was no stopping. And here I, here I sit. But like I said, I'm fine. Uh, just wanted to use this, this opportunity to uh, uh, tell you to be careful out there. What caught my eye and uh, distracted me when I fell was I just noticed how it cleared up. Uh, I don't know if it's raining still. It, it feels like it might still be raining, but it might just be coming from the trees. But but the uh, the fog, clouds, we're out of that. Uh, and it's pretty clear. And it's, uh, this is beautiful. More rhododendron. Seems like my choices today are big slippery rocks, are bushy, Soaking wet um, rhododendron. Uh, so I think I'd rather have this. <laughs>